Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Max. Welcome to Itulad, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS, EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, ALS, alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which we will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gap where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our modules, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! An awesome and amazing afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Italy Online Tutorial. Good afternoon, Tutor Jess. Yes, yes, yes. An amazing and awesome afternoon to all our online learners. This afternoon is another week, another Tuesday, and Tuesday is English Day. I'm Tutor yes. Jess. Yes. We're learning is a yes for a better tomorrow. Good afternoon, Tutor Rubilin. How are you today? I'm good. And of course, I'm so excited to be back here in Italy Online Tutorials with our learners. Yes, this afternoon, yes. Tutor Jess, kasama natin si Kim R. Lee. Ayan. Uh, Hi, afternoon. Kim. Yeah. And ito yeah. naman si Aliana. Siyempre, ang ating taga-subaybay na grade 2 learner na si Jersey. Hello, yes, Jersey. Yes, yes, Aliana. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can see them all in the comment section to the rows. We can also say Jaden. Uh, we have Chitter Glenny in the comment section. Hi, Chitter Glenn. Good afternoon. Welcome to our Italy session in English too. We'll go yes. go to the room. Of course, and dami pa dito. Ayan si Princess. Ayan si Princess watching from Antonio M. Serapio Elementary School. Is the O Valenzuela City. Ayan yung teacher niya, si Ma'am A.G. Tupang. Talagang sabi na tayo, no? Yeah, sa mga teachers and encourage sa mga learners nila na talagang makisali dito sa atin. Chitter Jess. At syempre, meron. Ayan, pakibasa, Chitter Jess, from Region 2. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we have from Region 2. Mm -hmm. Lian Tibera watching for from Antonio M. Serapio Elementary School is D.O. Valenzuela City teacher, Ma'am AJ Tupang. Good afternoon po. Ayan. At syempre, kahit yung mga high school learner, kasama din natin. Ayan, from Angahan High School. Hello, Glacial. Simpa. Hello, hello. We all welcome right. you all, regardless of your grade level. I would like to greet Tutor Robilin, our Teachers and learners in grade 2 for Basak Elementary School in the division of Lapu-Lapu City, the historic resort city. Good afternoon, everyone. Siyempre, yung school ko naman, Chitter Jess, the Science and Technology Education Center, Science and Technology Elementary School. Ayan, I know our learners are very excited for today's lesson. All yes, right. yes, yes. If you were to describe yeah. your feeling today, Tutor Rose, before we start, what are you feeling? How are you feeling, Tutor Robilin? Fantastic. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling thrilled. I cannot wait to learn more, to be more productive, and to grow as a teacher and as a person through the English language. Go, go, go. Yes. Kaya nga, di ba, we are here because of our learners. Sila po yung talagang rason bakit tayo nandito, Tutor Jess, no? Kahit wala sila sa loob ng kanilang mga classroom, but still we can reach them through this Itulay online tutorial. Kaya manood lang po kayo ng live. At sa mga hindi man makapanood sa amin ng live, pwede nyo itong balik-balikan 24-7. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. That's the beauty of it live because they can always watch it at their own convenience, right at the comfort of their fingertips. Yes, yes, yes. Ayan, kaya simulan na natin si Jess kasi naghihintay na ang ating mga learners. Yes. All right. We have more than 100 learners viewing this time. We have Francesca, George Lombard, Vincent Gabriel. Good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Yes. And of course, ano kaya ang magiging lesson natin this afternoon? Diba? Yes, I'm more than excited. Mm -hmm. Ayan. Okay. So, let's watch this video muna. Okay. Go to your chest. Okay. Ayan, so, instead of presenting the video to the rooms, I would like to, see, to introduce a jingle for English 2 to all our 
viewers this afternoon for all our online learners uh i would like to request everyone to sing with me i would like to sing first and then you follow okay would that be okay to turbuline of course go to the yeah, okay. so, this is how you sing the song this is the tune of the song english two english two for me and you english two english two let's learn and grow that's it to the rocks can we sing it Yay! together yes 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 we go ready so uh, so one, two, two, just ready go english two english two, english two english for two. me and you english two english two let's learn and grow one more time english two english two, english two. for me and you English to English to for me, I need to learn and grow. Yay! All thank right. you very much. So let's for learn school. and grow. Ayan, good yes. afternoon sa iyo, Ma'am Juday. Nandito si Ma'am Juday kasama natin. Hi po, Ma'am Juday. Welcome to the online tutorial for English 2. So to Turbilin, these are the people na kasakasama nat nila every Tuesday from 1.40 to 2.20 p.m. Yours truly, Tutor Jess, and on the other hand, our... Mentor, Tutor Rubilin. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, of course, official tutors na kayo ni Tutor Rina, Tutor Jess. So I'm so glad na nandito tayo live sa ating Facebook sa Educational Technology Unit. Of course, sa ating division din, Division of Lapu-Lapu, naka-live tayo dyan. At syempre sa mga YouTube channel ng DepEd TV and of course, sa ating Educational Technology Unit. And of course, DepEd Philippines YouTube. And Yay! Yeah. Thank you so much, Tutor Rubilin, for mentoring us and for all the online learners. Your support always overwhelms us. Thank you very much. Let's proceed, Tutor Rubilin. Yes! Ayan, oh, basahin ko muna yung comment ni Princess Leanne de Vera. English 2! English 2 for me and you! Yay! Master natin yan every meeting, ha? Okay. I love that's a spirit. No, we should always be cheerful for learning. Positive mindset, growth mindset. Ika nga, Tutor Rubilin. Yes, yeah, so last week we're done with week one topic that was about recognizing the different parts of the book. And this one, we are now in quarter two, week two, with a topic generating ideas through pre writing activities. Okay, let's move forward again. Gaya po ng sinabi ni Tutor V, our topic for this week will be centered on generating ideas through pre-writing activities. Do you love writing, Tutor Robs? Do you of love course. writing? Yes, because writing is one of the skills in English yes, communication. Yes, ma'am, skills. Mm -hmm. I agree, I agree. Okay, we would like to share Tutor Ruby our source for this afternoon. Uh, that would be DepEd Central Office Bureau of Learning Resources, English 2, Module 2. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yeah, so moving on. <laughs> Yes, we need to recognize all our learners, all right? Especially those who really take time to post their output in depth at Into Life Facebook page. And congratulations for your excellent job. Ayan, congratulations. Ayan, John John. Ventura. And of course, kay Jersey, talagang walang pinapalampas si Jersey sa lahat ng mga yes, sessions. Yes, yes, yes. He never, they never get tired of submitting their output and to the road, since we are into like level up not just two but we have three best output for week one and this is the third one yay congratulations roxanne r lucas grade two robusta amadeo elementary school from isdi okaviti and hello to your teacher advisor Hi, mr john noel valencia ayan napaka inspiring ninyong lahat mas lalo kaming uh like na yes, yes. we are you well motivated mm -hmm. for that okay so, moving on okay to the wrong so what are the objectives for this afternoon yes for today's lesson you will be able to express ideas through pre-writing activities you will also show appreciation to the importance of pre-writing activities and of course you will perform the different pre-writing activities in order to generate ideas okay yes 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 i love the objectives i cannot wait to achieve them at the end of the tutorial session okay at this time Tutor Rubilin, uh, we have our first activity to all our online learners i know they cannot wait for this activity allow me to read the instruction to Ruby. Okay, 
read each situation and answer the questions by doing the pre-writing strategies. Write the answer on your answer sheet. Now, in the case of our online learners, they may type it in the comment section. Why don't you read yeah. the paragraph of Ruby? Go, go, go. Paragraph number one. Nena has a pet named Bolt. It is brown and has a long tail. She really loves her pet because it is so cute and playful. Bolt likes to eat fried chicken and Nena always takes care of her pet. And so Bolt and Nena have a beautiful relationship. Yay! I love the story. It's all about the relationship of an owner and a pet. Okay, I have pet at home, Tutor Billy. How about you? Do you have pet also? Oh, of course. We love pets, right? Okay, pets yes. are, you know, sometimes they help us to... Release you know, the stress. Release They're that. stress reliever. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. So here's the challenge to all our online learners. They have to complete the web by describing Bolt, which is a dog in the story. So you can see there at the center, the picture of a dog named Bolt, and the four other circles that forming a web, you're going to write the different characteristics of Bolt based on the paragraph read by Tutor Guy. Go, go, go! Yes. Oh, you so can you two. can send now your ideas describing Bolt in our uh, comment section. Okay, kids. Yay, so start answering now. We cannot wait you to see in the comment section. Mm -mm. As we all know, our learners are very attentive while I was reading it. Ayan, according to Jersey, the dog name is Bolt. Yeah. Bolt. Wow. Yep. But according to Eisen, according to Eisen here, uh, brown. Bolt is brown. Oh. Yes, its color is brown. We also okay. have Johan Lopez Tutor B from San Nicolas Elementary School. Mm -hmm. Hi, Johan, and the rest of your classmates. Good afternoon. Yes, yes Tutor B. Another answer from Aizen Kiefer Vicente. Long tail. Sabi niya, long tail daw si Bolt. Okay. Oh. Why don't we check if they are right, Tutor B? Shall we check now? Yes. Ayan, pahabol si Aliana. Sabi niya, playful daw si Bolt. Check natin kung ano yung mga Okay, let's try to see. Mm -mm. It's color is brown. Wey nakakuha ba ng tamang sagot? Did somebody say it? Yes. 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 Nasabi it's kanina brown. brown. Very good. It has long tail. Okay, wow. that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Then the third characteristic, the 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 pet bolt is very cute. It's cute. The dog is cute. Yes, and that's mentioned also. And finally. Bolt is playful. Okay. Wow. Yep. Thank God. The correct answer to Terjes. Nasabi nilang lahat yun. Oh, which means they are listening from your paragraph, from what you read to Terubilin. And that's great. Keep the great job, everyone. Okay. Shall we proceed to Terubi to the next activity? Go, go, go to Terubi. Why don't you read the second paragraph? Number two. Listen carefully because in a while you will answer a question okay so number two little wants to be a doctor because he wants to cure and help the sick person someday describe a doctor and write your answer in your answer sheet okay okay now you can also type it in the comment section since this is online virtual you can type it and we would love to answer your answers in the comment section. Go, go, go. Describe yes, we need a to describe a doctor. Mm. Okay. Describe the doctor being mentioned in the story using the web below. Okay. So, Ruby, when was the last time you visit a doctor? Oh, I think uh, when I had my, uh, when I had my baby, Delivered in the hospital. That was no, more than two years was, ago. <laughs> that long time ago. Ako, I had a visit with the doctor just yesterday because of my vaccination, you know. Oh, but but the vaccine is scientific. It's research-based. It's safe. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we encourage everyone, especially 
the adults, those who qualify, they can do the vaccination. Yes, and we are so grateful to all the medical doctors who take good care of us physically, yes. especially if we have some illnesses. Ayan yung may mga answers na tayo na... na okay, can, na can you read doctor. one, two, three, B? Can you read the answers? Yes, from John Marcus Bautista. Sabi niya, helpful daw. Doc, a doctor yes. is helpful. Oh, yes, that's true. I another agree. Here, he wants to cure the sick. Wow, that's, that's from Jersey. Oh, my Hi, Jersey. Great Jersey. Mm -hmm. Ayan, sabi pa dito ni Princess, doctor cures sick people. Oh. Okay. I love their answers and I cannot wait to check if they are right. Tito Ruby, shall we check? Sure. Okay, let's okay. review. A the doctor cures the sick, therefore they are correct. Yay! That's a mm. great answer and I believe everybody knows that the doctor cures the sick. Another one, a doctor treats diseases. No? They give medicines to diseases. And finally, the third one, a doctor is caring and they give prescriptions, no? They're so that we can buy medicine at the pharmacy. Have you tried buying uh, medicine in the pharmacy to be based on the pres prescription given by the doctor? Yes, because that's the proper and appropriate. We should buy yes. medicines uh, only if it is prescribed by our medical doctors. Yes, and follow the prescription properly. If it's twice a day, take it twice a day. Yes, yes, yes. Mm, because following direction or following instruction is very important. In all aspects of life. I can only agree to review with what you said. That's correct. Moving forward, we do remember the thing that they have to remember about the lesson. Go, go, go to the review. So kids, always remember that ideas can be shared in different forms. It can be through a spoken language or it can also be done through writing. So when you write, you share your understanding and you can organize and present your ideas by brainstorming, drawing, and webbing. Yeah, hey, that's okay. great. Yeah, to yes. sum it up, to digest, there are three ways in organizing and presenting our ideas by writing or one. through writing right first we have brainstorming yes. drawing and webbing yeah hey i love that brainstorming drawing and webbing and my favorite is webbing what's your favorite tutor be in the three uh, ways how to present ideas my my favorite is webbing because it simplifies the ideas in one picture Yes, same with you, Tutor Just. I like webbing and also brainstorming. But yeah. sorry for drawing because I don't have that skill. <laughs> well, that's okay, Tutor. I know you have more and more skills other than that. And that's mm -hmm. okay. Go, go, go. Moving forward. Okay, we are in activity. We have to classify each of the items using the categories inside the box. So, San kaya ito, Tutor B? Is, does this belong to brainstorming? uh drawing or webbing sanito uh right now we are still in categorizing them yes uh, starting ano to suggest my object place para maging parallel siya so animal na lang instead of writing animals right yes so, okay oh. yes yes okay i love but, the parallelism yes uh -oh. that's object place or animal Yes, yeah, so, ayan, may mga sagot na sila. Ang bilis to suggest for number one, the word is Pampanga. Ayan, sabi ni Vincent, ni Jersey, oh. ni Don Carlo. Ano daw yan? Place daw yan? Tama ba sila? Ang dami nila. Si Kathy nagsabi din na place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ang right. dami, no? So, Chitter oh. Rubik, are they going to answer together? Can they answer? I would like to request them to write yes. their answers all together from one to number 10. Okay. So I yes. heard there was somebody answered Pampanga. It's a place. How about for number two? Go, go, Ayan. go, kid. For number two, according to Isaiah, uh, number two is an object. An apple yes. is an object. That's according to him. Let, uh, oh, let's check. Mm -hmm. Yes. We also have Don Carlo de la Cruz. He shared the same answer, Don Carlo. Hi, Po. Good afternoon. He said number two is object. How about number three? What are their answers? Go, go, yes. go, kids. From Don, according to him, 
uh, a chicken. That's number three. A chicken is an object. Sabi niya. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, an animal. Again, a chicken from Don Carlo, according to him, it's an animal. Mm. Yes, that's great. Okay, how about number four? Yes, from num for number four, marami na ding sagot dito sa ating comment section. The word is television. Alright, so according to them, television is an object. Chaturjit. Okay, that's great. Mm -hmm. I love the answers and I, I hope they are right. Finally, for number five, Chaturjit, before we check the answers. Yes, for number five, a park. And according to them, a park is a place. Uh, according to Mary, that's the same answer also from Kathy, from Princess, from John Mark. Grabe. Uh, parang nakuha talaga nila. Tingnan natin kung tama ba yung sagot nila, Chitur Jess. Okay, I cannot wait. I am more than excited, Chitur B. And these are the answers. Okay, okay. we have from number one up to number 10. Shall we check if they're right? Number one, Chitur B. Ano po ang sagot? Two, number one is? Place. Pampanga is a place. Correct. Then for That's number correct. two, an apple is an object. Number three, yes. a chicken. That's an animal. And number Perfect. four, television. That's an object. And number okay. five, a park is a place. How about for number six to ten, Chitur Jess? Ikaw naman. Okay, for number six to ten, let me do it, Chitur Ruby. Cell phone is an object. Just like this one, this is a cell phone. Number seven, books is an object also. They classify two objects. Pencil is another object. That's number eight. Number nine, carabao is an animal. And for number 10, a school is a place. A place for learning. Yay! All of them got it right, Tutor Ruby. Shall I see yes. their scores? Yes. I know you are honest enough in checking your own answer. Why not send here in the meeting chat, uh, what is your score, by the way? Is it 10 over 10, 9 over 10, or 8 okay. over 10? Ano talaga yung totoo? Ayan, sabi ni Leonor, ako po, 10 over 10. Well, congratulations. Wow, congratulations, Leonor, Janisha, Victor. Congratulations, you did great. Keep doing the great job. Yes, George Lambert also got 10 out of 10. Mm. And Vincent Gabriel, yeah, hey, I'm proud of you, kids. And with that, you deserve five stars, kids. Because okay. you're, yeah, it's I'm an winning. excellent job. Yes, mm. Princess, Aizen, Kathy, and all of you got 10. We are inspired by your scores. Keep doing the great job. Moving forward, what's new to the Ruby? We have here a dialogue between two kids okay you will play i will play tutu ruby as the boy and you will play in the story as the girl would that be I okay love that. yes that's the okay. way okay let me start hello classmate i am francis are you okay you look sad hi i am nina i am new here and i am not familiar with the places here in our school don't worry, I can be your friend and I will guide you so you will know the different places here. Really? I am happy to hear that. Thank you, Francis. We have right. facilities here that can help you a lot. We have the library, the clinic, the gymnasium, the computer room, and the canteen that serves nutritious foods. Come on, let's take our recess at the canteen and meet new friends. Great. I think I will enjoy here in our school. Yes, of course, Mina. I hope you are now familiar with the places here. Thank you for helping me, Francis. Yay! That's the end of the dialogue and I love the, the role that I played. How about you, Tutor Ruby? Do you like being Mina in the story? Of course, it's so great to feel being welcome, uh, even if you are new in that place. Uh, but there's someone who cares uh, about you, like Francis. So it's a great thing, or I mean, it's 
a good place to stay. Especially okay. for new learners. Mm. Yes, I agree. I agree to Ruby. I believe we have to move forward to the questions that we have to answer. Read the following questions and answer them. Go, go, Tito Ruby, for number one. Okay, question number one. Who is the new pupil in the school? Oh, there are two names a while ago, right? But the question is, who is the new pupil in the school? Yes, yes, mm. yes. So okay. Answer. Give me the type number one and comment your answer in the comment section. Go, go, go. Sabi ni Jaden to the Ruby, we have Mina po, Prince, ganun din Mina. Okay. Yes, ang bilis. Ang oh. bilis, I love the spirit. That's the spirit of a true learner. Okay. Yes. Sabi ni and Pinto, the correct Ruby, answer ni is? <laughs> yes. The correct answer will be uh, featured all together to the Ruby for? Okay. We Ay, meron na pala. Meron na agad-agad. <laughs> the, the great thing about technology kasi agad-agad yung sagot. That's the spirit. The answer is? Mina. Mina. Yay! Ang galing. So, Ay, Mina. Zen, yeah, Mina is the new pupil in the school. Now, how about the second question to third chest? Okay, number two. Who helped the new pupil, Mina? Who helped Mina in the story, in the dialogue? Who helped Mina? Type number two and your answer in the comment section. Go, 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 kids. Meron naman sumasagot. Sabi ni George Lambert, Francis. Sabi ni Jersey Francis, Aliana, Glazer. Ang dami sumasagot si Francis. Okay. Tama nga ba sila si Tito Shall I check if they're right? Go, go, go. Number two, the correct answer is Francis. Yay! Yay! Francis helped the new pupil. Uh, so, oh, okay. Francis is very helpful. How I wish all the kids in school are helpful. Mm -hmm. Just like Francis, yes. For number three, Tutor B, why don't At you read it to them? At the beginning of the story, how did the new pupil feel about her school? Show your answer through a drawing. Oh, oh, oh Mahira, no, how can they draw it? Maybe they can type the word Tutor B, no, to make it quick. Yeah, ayan, may agad, uh, may sagod Ay, agad. Ay, may sumasagot si Princess. <laughs> Mina is feeling sad, okay. Oh, Bakit di ba yung sad ano, si Mina? Tinan mo yung emoji nila. Ang oh, bilis. that's great. Oh, Grabe yung mga emoji. learners natin. Nakaka oh, ang bilis, no? Inspired. Ang bilis na mga outsmartan tayo and that's okay because every learner is a potential genius. They are doing great. Okay. Shall ah. I check to be the answer? It's there already, and the answer is a sad <laughs> face, no? Okay. It's a sad face because Mina is sad since she is not familiar in the school. Were you sad also to be in times where you visit a place that you do not know somebody else, you're not familiar? Have you been feeling that sad? Mm, maybe not that sad, but of course, uh, you still have that apprehension. But of course, yes. since uh, if since we are adult already, so we can make friends to all the people there. We can say hi, hello, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> we okay, can do the, the yeah. We I, can uh, initiate so that yes. people also will be will notice uh will notice us that we need if we need assistance. So it's okay. To yes, see. you can always survive. The report, Tutor Ruby. You can always survive. I like it. Thank you, Tutor Ruby. Mm. Number four. What are the different facilities being mentioned in the school? What are the different facilities? Go, 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 kids. Stop your answer in the comment section. I miss yes. much, much. We have Princess, Avenia, Cantin, Library. Uh, we also have Jersey, Don Carlo. Oh, oh. Meron tayong bagong viewer, Tutor Ruby. We have Giancarlo Valderosa. Ang dami niyang sagot. And that's correct. Uh, Giancarlo V. De La Cruz, are you still listening and watching from LFG, Diamantina National High School, Cabanatuan East District, Kabanatuan Isabela. Hi po, umaabot tayo doon, no? Ang lawak yes. ng school. Ng That's region 2. Isabela is in region, region two. 2. Okay, go, go, go. Mm. Congratulations po. We're happy to have you in the Itulay platform. Tutor review, may sumasagot pa rin ba? Do we have uh, answers pouring in the comment section? We want them to keep them pouring because we would love to read it for them. Okay, yes. go, go, go. Yes. Okay. 
Uh, yun yung mga answers ng ati mga learners are flooded in the comment section and that's a very good vibe for us. And keep it up, kids, because that's one way of showing that you are very interested to learn. And for number five na tayo, if the country... So number f- in, yeah, for okay. number five, you are just... Ayun yung sagot sa number four. Lamabas na. Oh, library, clinic, Gym, the computer room, and the canteen. Congratulations, kids. Adora, Prince, Marco, Ezekiel. All of you got it right, and I like it. Okay, number five, tutor B. Why don't you read it for them? Go, go, go. If the canteen serves nutritious food, what is the library for? This is where the pupils can blank. A, play with their friends. B, read books. C, perform in front of a big crowd. Or D, do some sports activities. Okay, number five. Type your answer, five, and the letter of the correct answer. Go, 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 Prince. Yeah. Oh, my sagot na si Prince. Kaka-mention ka na kay Prince and he has an answer already. He said letter B. Ezekiel answered also letter B. Uh, Jaden, Arwin, Lenore, Vincent. They answered letter B, to the B. And I like to know if they are right. Shall you check their answers, two through B? And the correct answer is letter B. B. Okay. Books, no? The library is a place where the pupils can read books. You know what? In s- different parts of school, Jutter just I really love library because yes. you, uh, of course, it's not just about reading books, but you can also spend time studying there. Yes, it's very conducive for learning. No, it's conducive mm-hmm. for learning. And when you read books, you bring to different places. You enjoy and improve your imagination. No, that's the, the the essence of reading books. That's the beauty of reading. Go go go! So read books, guys. Read books and nurture your imagination. Moving yeah. forward to will be for number six. What is the use of a computer room? This is a place where pupils then a use and learn computers. B eat snacks. C, learn from their teacher. D, can play. Can they play in the computer room? Five, number six, yes. and the letter of the correct answer. Go, go, go. Yes, kids. We are waiting for your responses. All right. Ayan na. Sabi ni Glacial, letter A. And oh, in letter A, use and learn computers. Ayan. According also to Aliana, Aizen, Jaden, uh, Princess, uh, the same answer. Their answer is letter A. So, oh, wow, that's great. Computer room is a place where pupils use and learn computers. Let's check. Yay! That's letter A. That's correct. It's awesome. You have it. Oh, and keep doing it, guys. I love the spirit. Tama ang kanila sa God Tutor B. That's letter A. Have you? Do you have a computer room in your school, Tutor B? Yes, of course. And yes, I believe I, I believe every hmm. school in the archipelago in the Philippines has a computer laboratory or computer room for the yeah. students to manipulate and learn from the computers. Yes, yes, yes. We're so grateful with the Department of Education, especially in the central office, to provide us, yes. provided all the schools with the DCP packages. Yes, okay. to the government, to the taxpayers, and the debt ed, and the rest of the people behind it. Thank you so much. Because there were also private companies and private, you know, yes, stakeholders, uh, no? establishment stakeholders who donated computers for our learners. Yes. Now for number I seven, what do pupils do at a gymnasium? Uh, I know not all schools has a gymnasium, but uh, let's say it a covered court, maybe <laughs> something like that. Yes. Okay, for letter A, learn how to use a computer. B, place to find and read different books. Or C, where pupils play, do sports, and exercise. Or letter D, pupils can eat and take a break. Ariane, we have a lot of answers already to digest according to... Yes, we have Vincent Gabriel, Kathy May, yeah. their answers are all letter C. Okay, Vincent Gabriel, Princess Jadren, Sino Papa, Adora San Antonio... George, Jersey, and Dami, they keep answering letter C. They keep them pouring in the comment section. And you want to know if they're right? The tutor B, shall I check if it's right? Okay, let's check. And the correct answer for number seven is letter... Letter C. Yay. Yay. Congratulations. Meaning Napaka- to say, gymnasium 
is a place where the learners can play, do sports, play? and exercise. Yeah, exercise, mm. yes. Others, they call it covered court. Chiturubi. You have gymnasium in your school, Chiturubi? Yes, that's a very good news. Uh, it's, you know, it's a brand new Brand wow. new book. Oh, yes, this year. Po, no? Brand new pala ito, no? Akala mm-hmm. ko yung, yung ano lang, yung computer lang ang pwede maging brand new. We still have another brand new material. That's brand new gymnasium for STEC. Okay, congratulations. Mm-hmm. Oh, ang galing, no? Who are your sponsors to Turby? Shall you thank them for that? Yes, we, of course. Our very supportive local government unit. So we are so grateful with them. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you so much, Lapu-Lapu City Government. Moving forward with number eight, what is the clinic for? Clinic, what is the clinic for? A, where the beautiful plants and flowers are planted. B, where the school nurse provides health care to people and staff. C, it's a room for tools. D, it's a room for eating. Ano nga bang tama sagot? Type your answer. Number eight. Yes. Number eight. Go, go, go. Ayan. A recognize mo na natin ang ating isa sa mga magagaling na tutor dito sa Itulay. Hi, Ma'am Erza. Galing Hi, Ma'am Erza. We're happy to have you. Good afternoon po. Dahil mahusay ang mga tutors, katulad ni Tutor Erza. Napakahusay. Yan. Yes. Isa sa inspirasyon. She's an inspiration to all our English learners. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you po, Ayan. Tutor Erza. We love you gracing the show. Hmm. Okay. Nabahana ng sagot ang ating comment section for number A, Tutor Jess. Okay. Ano nga ba ka ng sagot? They have the common answers in this letter. B, Vincent Gabriel, George Lambert, Kathy May, Christine May, Prince Marco, Don Carl. Ang dami sumasagot ng letter B and I want to know if they're right. So the correct answer is letter letter B. Yay! Yay! Therefore, there is convention. Teacher, yes. uh, Tutor Jess, a clinic is where the school nurse provides health care to pupils and staff. Yes, right. especially if they're not feeling well or they want to take a medicine, they can ask for help from the clinic people, the clinic staff, the school nurse. Can you have a school nurse in your school, Tutor B? Uh, we have a teacher in charge of the clinic. But oh. we have a space now. We have a new space also, new clinic. So if ever our nurse in District 5 will stay here, uh, she's very welcome in our clinic. Wow. Brand new clinic. Okay. Mm. So that's very great, Tutor Ruby, because we are really creating a child-friendly school. We cannot wait to welcome them when everything is back to normal. Okay. That's right. Friendly right. talaga. That's great. Yes. Let's proceed Bye. to number nine, uh, number 10, Tutor Ruby. Go, go, go. Yeah, before I will proceed to that, number 10, Tutor Jess, in a while, uh, may iwan kita, no? tatapusin ko lang yung number 9 and number 10. Uh, 10, okay? For number 9 yes. go, 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 and Tutor 10, Ruby. choose among the list of words to describe Francis and Mina. Explain your answer. So, again, for number 9, Francis is blank. A, healthy. B, friendly. C, intelligent. D, honest. Because, blank. Ayan. You need okay, to sila yung magbibigyan ng because. So, oh, sila yung magbibigyan yes, ng reason oh. behind. Yes. Mm. Okay. Go, go, go. Type number 9 and number 10 and put them in the comment section. We have Izia. Francis is, is helpful because he helps show me not to show the facilities. Wow, that's great. Ano pa ba? We have uh, glass of simpao. By the way, I would like to greet Tutor Ruby again, our online learners and teachers from the division of Lapu Lapu City. Hi po, I know you're watching. Thank you so much for the support. And the rest of our uh, partners in progress, partners in Itulai session. Good afternoon. Yes, we have visit Gabriel. He said, B because he helped me now. Let's try to see if they're correct. The correct answer for number nine is letter. B, congratulations. The correct answer is Francis is friendly because he welcomes Mina in the school and helps and assists her in the new places in the different parts of the school. Congratulations, Aliana, Vincent, Glassel. Is he as a husband? Nakakuha ng tama sagot. Keep doing the great job. Keep them pouring in the comment section. Yay! Moving forward with number 10. At the beginning of the story, Mina was A, happy, B, mad, C, sad, 
desired. Type number 10 and the letter of the correct answer. Go, 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 kids! Ano nga ba ang tamang sagot? How was Mina feeling at the beginning of the story? Sabi ni Dinor, yes, it's letter C. Ezekiel, Amy Adora San Antonio, Don Carlo de la Cruz, Amy Solano Anak, Aliana, and the rest of our online learners who keep them viewing in this Italy session. Keep your answers in the comment section and I love to read them for you. I then it's letter C, Jersey. Please try to check kung tama ka ba ka sagot. And the correct answer for number 10 is letter, yes, it's letter C. Mina was sad because she was new to her school. You can see naman in the picture, the face of Mina, she was really sad. But at the end of the story, she was already happy because Francis helped him. Okay, congratulations, kids. Let's move forward. Read the situation and answer the question in your notebook. Nico noticed that his classmate was sad. He asked him why, and his classmate said that he forgot his food. If you were Nico, what would you do? Show your answer by drawing. Okay, go, 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 kids. What are you going to do? If you have a classmate who has forgotten his food and he could not eat something for his lunch, how would you help him? Okay. Oh, oh yes, keep them pouring in the comment section. How will you help him? Okay. How will you help your classmate who forgot his food? Oh, oh yes, we have... Princess Jadren in the comment section. Hi, good afternoon. Emmy Solanoy Anap. So ano nga ba yung sagot? How are you going to help your classmate who forgot his food? Okay, we have Aliana here. George Lambert. Uh, okay, we also have Aliana. She said, I will share my baon to my classmate. Po. That's great, no? That's the beauty of being generous, being kind. You're able to to help others and you become a blessing to others. Keep doing that. That's great. If I were Nico, I will give her extra food. That's Princess. Thank you, Princess Leanne Rivera. Visit Gabriel, Jaden, Arwin, Glacel, Eisen. Very good. Give food. What's the answer? Share food to your classmate. Pala yung tama. We share food because it is better to give than to receive and be a blessing to others. Be a blessing. Okay. Let's move forward to another situation. Maria was walking down the street when she heard loud, high-pitched, popping and ringing sounds from the nearby burning building where rescue operations are ongoing. She heard loud, high-pitched, popping and ringing sounds from the nearby burning building. Okay, so the, ans the answers will require you to, un to write what did Maria hear in the nearby building? Can you describe the loud sound, the sounds there? Because the question, what did Maria hear, requires an answer that relates to sound. What did Maria hear? What did Maria hear? Okay, can you put your answer? Any answer will do in the comment section. What did Maria hear? Ano nga ba ang narinig ni Maria? Okay, we have Kathy May, Cuevas, Lenore, Aliana. High pitch po, o oh, medyo mataas, no? Na, na tinig, na tunog. Okay. Ang galing. That's great. Aliana, another one. Can we have another answer aside from Aliana? Yes, keep them pouring in the comment section. We have Kathy May, Vincent Gabriel, he said high pitch. Okay. Princess Leah Rivera, ganun din, high pitch. Okay, let's try to check if you are right. Okay, loud sound. The first one, it was a loud sound. Oh, tama si Aliana. That's great. Another one. High pitch sound and you got it right. That's incredible. Correct. It was not only loud, it was also high pitch. Another one. Popping sound. Popping sound. Okay, ang galing ni Kathy May. She was able to write it there in the comment section. Popping sound. That's great. Another one. It's a ringing sound. So there were four adjectives or characteristics about the sound. It's loud. It's high pitched. It's popping and it's ringing. Yay! Hey, congratulations, kids. You all got the correct answer. Prince Marco, George Lambert, Vincent Gabriel, congratulations. Okay. Remember, what are you going to remember? To generate ideas in preparation for the writing task. You can do different pre-writing activities such as webbing, 
brainstorming and drawing. First, webbing is a visual representation of your ideas about the topic that uses shapes, lines, or even arrows. Okay, another pre-writing activity is brainstorming, which is done by coming up with different ideas to provide solution to a problem or to have a better understanding of the situation. That's brainstorming. And finally, drawing. Drawing is a pre-writing activity that helps you show your understanding through images or pictures. Drawing portrays ideas and stories, and this activity promotes imagination and creativity. That's great. Remember the three ways how to present your ideas? Through pre-writing activities, we have the first one was, ano yung una? The first one is webbing. The second one is, yes, brainstorming. And the third one is drawing. Okay. Now, we have a, another activity for all of you. Read the situation below and do the pre-writing activity in your answer sheet. Your mother asks you to wash the dishes. Show your understanding by drawing and explaining the procedures. The first step there, as you can see, is being provided. Okay, what are the steps in washing the dishes? Number one, wash the glass, a spoon, and fork with soap and water. What would be the step two? And what would be the step three? Write them in the comment section. Ano nga ba? Have you tried doing it? Type yes if you've tried washing the dishes. Uh oh, type yes. Oh, si Princess Lian, sabi niya, lastly, drawing po. Galing, that's good. Uh, si Vince, James, Marmol, Kathy May, that's great. I love your support. Congratulations, kids. Now I want you to answer, what are the different steps in washing the dishes? Yes, Jaden tried it. Congratulations, Jaden. Ang galing. And I'm happy to hear that because you should be responsible. Prince Marco, sabi niya, yes po, I've tried Aizen Kaifer, ang galay, nakaproud because you are trying to be independent. Now you are trying to be, to be uh, strong enough and responsible enough to do things that you can do. Why not do it? If you can do it, do it, diba? That's how you train yourself. Okay, drawing is my favorite. Sabi ni Dinor. Okay, that's good. Okay, rinse and drain. Sabi ni Aliana. Let's try to see. Okay, today is a good. Step one, you wash. Step two, you rinse the dishes with clean water. Step three, you dry the dishes. Oh, those are the pictures that you may draw them. Again, the first one, wash the dishes, rinse the dishes, dry the dishes. Okay, yay. Yeah, hey. Congratulations for those who got it right and for those who experienced washing the dishes by themselves. That's a great, keep doing the good job. Okay. Now we have what I can do. Okay. Read the story below and answer the questions that follow. Okay. Boyet is a good looking boy who likes wearing white shirt and blue shorts. He is also a responsible and caring person. Whenever he eats fried chicken, he shares it with his dog. He always gives his dog a bath. He also cleans the dog house. Boyet and his dog love to play ball in the garden and they enjoy eating together. Okay, so ano nga ba yung sagot? The story is all about Boyet and his pet. And these are the questions, therefore, that we have to answer. Number one, what kind of boy is Boyet? Oh, oh based on the story, what kind of boy is Boyet? Yes, yes, yes. I want you to type your answer in the comment section. Write number one and your answer. Start answering and keep them pouring in the comment section. Go, go, go. Oh, sabi ni Don Carlo de la Cruz. Dog. Yes, Boyet has a dog in the story. And he loves the dog. Yes, sabi ni Aliana, animal lover po. Galeng, that's great. That's correct. Boyet is animal lover. Specifically, he was a dog lover. Okay. Aliana, do you love dogs also? How about the others? Don Carlo, Vincent Gabriel. Sabi ni Prince Marco, I love this answer. He said, he's responsible and caring. And let's try to check if it's correct. One, two, three, go. Yes, these are the answers for our uh, test, no? In the 
assessment portion. Number one, what kind of boy is boy yet he is responsible and caring? Okay, he is responsible and caring. Number two, how does Boyet show his love? He shares his food with his dog. He gives dog a bath. He cleans the dog house and he plays with the dog. Okay, so those are the things that, yes, we have Kathy May sabi niya, my pet is a cat. Boyet is caring. That's great. That's correct. Caring. Because that's the purpose of having a pet. You as the owner, as the adoptive, adopt, adoptive parent of the pet, you should take care of that pet properly, no? You develop your values of caring. That's great. Okay, number three. How do you do? You also have your own pet. How do you take care of your pet? Okay, I have here a sample. Sabi dito, taking care of my pet, feeds my pet, gives my pet a bath, cleans my pet's house. Okay, how about you guys? How do you you take care of your pet? Sabi ni Kathy, give food. Sabi ni Lenor, my pet is a bird. How do you take care of a bird, Lenor? Answer that in the comment section. Sabi ni Aliana, wala po kaming pet. It's okay. Maybe for health reasons, others do not uh, have a pet and it's okay. Some people have it and it's okay also. Taking a bath with my pet. That's correct, Kathy May. How about uh, Lenore? I'm interested. How do you take care of a bird? Uh, Princess Jade Red? Oh, oh. So, Kids, we have our own pets at home. Some have, some even do not have it. We take care of them because we love them. And they are our responsibility. And we have to keep making them healthy for them to survive. Otherwise, if they will die, we will cry. We will be sad. And that's really a sad experience. But anyways, going back to taking care of pet, do your job, be, respons be a responsible pet owner oh, that's the main idea be a responsible pet owner oh, oh sabi ni Zia, my pet is a dog yeah, yeah, i love that responsible pet owners cherry and meron pa akong goldfish oh, a fish it can also be a pet that's great you know oh, princess jaden my pet po is a dog yeah, hey so kids i want you to have additional activity <coughs> based in the activity there you can Draw a big circle. The title is Taking Care of My Pet. And you present three ways how to take care of those pets at home. You can give one, two, and three. That will be your additional activity. And I want you to post them in the comment section or the Itulai group so that we can feature your output next week. Okay. Just give us three ways how to take care of your pet. Okay, so that's it for today. And I'm happy that you are still with us. Are you learning? Can you type yes, 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 if you're learning? Are you learning, Aliana? Are you learning, Lambert? George? Izia? Are you learning, Samantha? Ezekiel? You know, yes, yes, yes. Okay, Izia John Cherry on. Then we also have Samantha, Prince Marco, and the rest of our online learners from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. If you are learning, well, thank you because that's the spirit and that's the very purpose of this Itulai to help you learn despite of the pandemic. Because once you learn, once you say a yes for learning, you're saying yes for a better tomorrow. Yay, Don Carlos learning, Jaden Arwin, Angaling. I'm happy that you are and we cannot wait to see you on another Itulai session. That would be Tuesdays from 1.40 to 2.20 in the afternoon. So again, do not forget your output. I want you to draw a big circle at the center. You type how to take care of my pet. And you identify three ways, just like in the example. Post that one in our Itulai group or in the comment section. We will feature that next week. Yay! Hey, congratulations, everyone. Ang galing. I'm happy. And one word for today's uh, activity would be awesome. That's awesome. Yay! Hey, congratulations, everyone. I hope you will not forget our a jingle that we presented to you a while ago. So, let's try to check if have we achieved our objectives for the first one. Yes, yes, yes. We express ideas through writing activities, and we did that. We appreciate it, and we did that. And we performed different pre-writing activities. We did that. And for that, congratulations, everyone. Congratulations. 
Ang galing, ang galing. I'm inspired. I'm overwhelmed. I'm thrilled with your outputs and support. So before we'll end, we would like to share to everyone that November, today is November uh, 23, and still we're celebrating the National Children's Month. And the uh, theme will be New Normal na walang iwanan, karapatan ng bawat bata, ating tutukan. Okay, I love that. That's correct. Just like education is a right. It's not a privilege. You having this access for technology is one of the ways for us to reach out to you and continue your learning because learning is a right. Okay, so we have here, every child is a different kind of flower and all together makes this world a beautiful garden. Remember that. That means you are special, you are a genius, you are valued, you are cared, and you are respected, no? Because you are a child. Okay. So kids, uh, I would like to present again our my fellow tutors for elementary English department. Our head is Tutor Ruby, and this is yours truly. Tutor Jess saying, one book, one pen, and one teacher can change the world. So keep reading a book, keep writing activities, and keep learning because again, a yes for learning is a yes for a better tomorrow. Yay! Hey, thank you very much, everyone. And now, if you want to share any feedback, your voice matters to us. And therefore, you can type your feedback form based on the screen presented and to our QR code here. You may scan that. And I would like to thank you, everyone. Up next, we have Tutor May and Tutor Ira for English 3. Once again, thank you very much, everyone. I would like to end our session by singing English 2, English 2 for me and you. English too, English too, let's learn and grow. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you so much. See you on Tuesday from 1.40 to 2.20. This is Tutor Jess saying congratulations and happy learning. Bye. Ang husay naman. Natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag Itulay Level Up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa Itulay!